I'm Alan Davis here in the Small World office, welcoming all of you to Global Toronto 2020, our artist spotlight. Bienvenue à tout le monde and welcome to GT20. It's my pleasure today to be talking to uh, three gentlemen from Montreal who are doing some fantastic music that is based in Moroccan roots and we're gonna explore that in a little while. We're gonna to talk to them and get some of their impressions. And I am going to do my best to not completely slay their, to, to slaughter their names, starting with the group's founder and singer is Hamza Abdouab Del Majid. Yeah. Mad, and Anit Ghosh and Sylvain Plant. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Oh. Irad is the name of the band and they have been doing, they've been kicking ass on some festival circuits and doing some wonderful things before the pandemic shut us down. Hamza grew up in the Medina of Fez in Morocco before settling in Montreal in 2005. And he set up shop with Anik Bove, a singer and oboe player who has been active in Montreal. They found common ground with their music and gradually added elements to become a full band. With that full band, Iride presents a cross-cultural music incorporating the different elements of Moroccan styles, such as Berber rhythms, shabi, as well as reggae, rock, and pop. It's a very listener-friendly and dance-friendly uh, style that has drawn attention around the world. They were nominated for World Music Album of the Year for their self-titled release in 2014 for the Junos. It's, uh, we are going to give some taste of that music with a video now. Uh, Hamza, what's the name of the video? It's uh, Harai. Oh, Harai, yeah, this, this really rocks. This, this, uh, this is for the lunch. The, the first one, it was uh, in... Uh... I think the first video will be uh, some live footage from uh, our, our first album, oh, Lunch. Yeah. And the first album, Lunch, was at the closing uh, ceremonies of Mundial. We ah. the, closed the Mundial um, showcase. Wasn't, wasn't the second album. Was the second for the second album? Yeah. Oh, that's right. My, my guess is whatever we're going to see is going to be great. So let's go to the video now. This is Iraq. Yeah. 
Est-ce que ça va tout le monde عشقك يا بنيا وانتي حياتي وعينيا وغير سكتي يا الحياة بكرة بليخ وانا عشقك يا بنيا وانتي حياتي وعينيا وغير سكتي يا الحياة بكرة بليخ عشرة معكم انتو ما ما تفيدوني من هاد الفاني انا غير قيلوني عشرة معكم انتو ما ما تفيدوني يا بطلانا غير خلوني نعيش حياتي في راحة ما تسالوني يا بطلانا غير خلوني نعيش حياتي في راحة ما تعيوني تهيسة تهيسة الدنيا تهيسة معكم انا بعد ما هي فيسة تهيسة تهيسة الدنيا تهيسة معكم انا بعد ما هي فيسة And there you have it. We have music video from Irad rocking out the Moroccan grooves. It's uh, some great stuff. Very, very exciting music. And thank you guys again for joining us. Hamza, Anit, and Sylvain. So I want to ask you, are you, are you like a, a COVID bubble or something? Are you guys like family? Because there's, you know, no masking, no, no, no physical distancing. How's that working? <laughs> Well, we see each other pretty regularly, and so uh, you know we're uh, we're quite safe. There is uh, some uh, risk involved, but we've washed our hands, and uh, and uh, I guess uh, there's a little bit of faith involved, you know. Right, and you're you you're not doing the Arabic and French face kissing too no, much. No, no, like no, no, no. This no. is actually pretty distant for how we usually are, you know. We're that's <laughs> our version of distancing. So musically, um, I mean, Hamza, obviously, you know, you grew up in the traditions of, of Morocco, but yeah. now your, your contemporary sound, I mean, you know, you really, you don't hesitate to rock, to really rock it out. Of course, but I, I was a rocker in Morocco too, so, mm. <laughs> you know, we play Morocco, we play rock in Morocco too. Of course, yeah. of course. Grew up, you know, with, uh, with the very open parents, you know, they, 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 they listen to rock, blues, uh, jazz, music, and I grew up in the sounds, so it's, it, it came naturally to you, you know, that. And how do you, I mean, because that's, a, you know, for me, that's always been an interesting topic or a, a place to dig, dig in is where, where tradition meets modern, where, you know, the, the, the rock or contemporary influence, how do you balance those elements of tradition and modern in your music? Is it, is it sometimes challenging to find that, that right balance? Sometimes, but for me, it's, it's you know, music is universal. You know, if, if, if so it comes from Morocco or from India or from United States or from Canada, for me, it's, it's like a universal language. So it's not, it's not difficult for me to, to, to mix this, these sounds and, It came, like I said, it came naturally. And I need remind me, are you uh, you're a percussionist? I, I play violin mostly in the in the band, and sometimes some mandolin, guitars, and mostly violins. And still, that is, I play the drum. You're the, you're the drummer, okay? So I yeah. I'm re I can relate to you because I'm a drummer. I I thought you was. <laughs> When when you guys are when you guys are formulating your your, your music, I mean, it, it's clearly like sort of it's festival friendly. It's it's danceable. It's exciting. It's it's propulsive music. Do you sort of consciously think in those terms? I mean, we're we're going to create a track that's going to get people up and shouting as opposed to sitting on their on their hands. I guess I guess maybe Amza does it a bit, but not really. But it, like I said, it comes to him naturally like that. I, I won't say uh, like it, it's. 
pinpoint the, like oh, we, we want to do that song that song's going to get people crazy but uh it does it naturally like oh yeah. like i think hamza likes that he wants high energy music high energy songs and he wrote he wrote high, high energy songs so, yeah th uh, this is my thing uh, this is my thing i love yeah, that you like that <laughs> and it comes like that really i wouldn't say it's force right like, it's yeah. very natural for us that that's that's the way we we do shows and then what about the progression of your sound over over the years because if i recall correctly i think originally you were a little softer maybe a little more traditional sounding a little yeah i agree i agree with that i don't know exactly it came, it's me it's my fault <laughs> <laughs> always the drummer's fault yes uh, yeah no well, on the first album it's not me on um, and then i came in on the second <laughs> album that's why i said it changed the all the yeah I, I don't know seriously I guess I bring it. maybe yeah like maybe. Got a bit more uh, roll in the yeah, band maybe because I, I bought the, the, the Stratocaster a Fender Stratocaster <laughs> and I start playing with that and uh, it changed the, the sound you know I don't know maybe maybe it's yeah I think this is the, think it's the, the natural, original the natural progression really uh, I guess yeah. we added some brass too on the second album. It's a little bit heavier sound, and uh, you know, it's as as the as the group sound got more defined. We, we you know we're more yeah. inspired by this uh, Afro blues kind of like trance tradition. Yeah. I also took out the electric guitar. I wasn't playing that in the first album, so I guess it's a little bit more like that. Yeah. But uh, you know, the response is is really good. I've got to say, like it's 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 wonderful to go. Um, you know, as a festival and um, Maison de la Culture, I don't know if we uh, have these across Canada, kind of band, we end up in, kind of in front of all kinds of audiences of all ages. And it's, it's nice to, to, to you know, we, we have the softer side at times, but then when you let, let the, the horses out, you know, and it's really rocking, it's nice to see like the older people are getting up, uh, people of all origins and they're still getting into it, you know, and uh, it's, it's really fun to see at the end of the show, everyone is standing, no matter what kind of audience it was or how comfortably they were seated. And uh, so uh, it works, you know. That's it's always always a good sign if you get people up like, like that. That's always a good sign. Well, in terms of inspiration or, you know, people who you've looked, looked to, Hamza, in your career, uh, whether Moroccan or otherwise, do you have any names that you come back with? There is there is a lot of names. There is a lot of names, uh, but you know I I always listen to a very 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 roots Moroccan Algerian Tunisian music. So you know like uh, Bidawiya, uh, Fasiya, um, you know like uh, Lili Abbasi. Like oh, this is the old old names. Mm. You know from Morocco. From Nigeria, the Jewish Jewish Moroccan music too. So it's it comes from there, you know. This uh, and the, the the fact that I, I grew up in, in, in the, the, the the old Medina Fez, uh, it I think it gives me like a, like a, a spiritual something spiritual there. I don't know how, how how can I explain it, but it's I don't know. It's it's magical. <laughs> It's very magical. As so, we, as we, so if you went to, to Fez, yeah. There, yeah, so I grew up there in this Vieille, this Vieille Medina, it's old Medina, and there is, there is like something, I don't know, something magical there that, that, that touched me. Yes, yes, of course. I, I would think growing up in that, in that environment would inevitably make you... Would, would it would infuse you with that kind of spirit? I mean, as we were talking before we went live, I mean, that I was lucky enough to have a couple of trips to Morocco in two different cities. And I mean, the music is everywhere. It's always part of the fabric. And, you know, you go to the Jamal Fana in Marrakesh at night and everywhere you turn, there's music and it's just incredible. It's, you know, what a feeling. I guess we're having some uh, technical difficulty. So on the that came from... Technical difficulties. Yeah, the sound was cut. Free, freezing oh. a little bit, but it's okay. We'll, we'll keep pushing on. Um, okay. Sound. Okay, cool. We're here. Yeah, yeah, you're here. So speaking of Moroccan music, uh, you know, where, where do you see it on the world 
stage? In other words, you know, in all of the mix of global music that we see on festivals around the world, how do you see Moroccan music fitting into that in any one of, any one of you? Oh, I, I would almost say that we're not as strictly uh, confined to what you would call Moroccan music at, right. at the moment. You know, being Montrealers and uh, playing in all kinds of world music situations and uh, being exposed to all musics, that, of course, is a big part of our sound. You, you'll hear heavy, heavy uh, Cuban influences, you know, because it's, it's a country we've all traveled to and all been uh, deeply touched by, and uh, we, we just love the way they play music. So those elements have come in, you know, uh, Indian elements, even in, in the, the Medina and Fez, you know, I, I've been there and uh, had little kids who don't even go to school and they're singing me Bollywood songs. Mm -hmm. So just to say, you know, that, that Moroccan music is what now, you know, uh, it, yeah. I will. No, there is still a, no, a lot of roots. Yeah. And that is just a big tradition, that, but that we can't be removed. Really that yeah, we're, uh, I guess, I would say that we're reflecting more at one side of Montreal based music. Mm -hmm. if, if I could. And, and yes. that, there is a great place uh, in, in the world. Montreal is one of the most cosmopolitan uh, musical melting pots in the world, I think. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's fun to be a part of that. And I, I, as a fan of Moroccan and Arabic music, I'm always envious of Montreal because of the Arab, the North African, the Arabic population that you have there, which we don't have in Toronto. So there's always been this infusion of, of great uh, Moroccan styles and North African styles in Montreal. And I'm always saying, oh, I want, I want those bands in Toronto, but it's uh, always at, at the, the distance between here and there, yeah. What, what, just a little bit about Mor speaking of Moroccan music again, is something that I, I, I love so much. I mean, is that trance, the trance quality that, that some of the, the elements have, I guess the Ganawa music, the, the yeah. six four rhythms that are so involving. What, what, is that, what does that do for, for any, one of, any one of you who wants to... Sylvain, so you're, you're a drummer. What, is, what is that for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what do you mean exactly? I don't... I mean, the, 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 because, I, again, the, the six four rhythm that is so prevalent in, say, Ganawa music is, is so trance, like the trance quality, where literally they are using it as trance inducing music and how how that sort of informs some of what you might do yeah we'll, we'll do a, we'll do it's six eight really uh, we, amza loves that we'll we'll do we'll do a couple of that that they are really influenced by uh, gnawa music and uh, the, the trance the, the yeah. shabby uh, yeah it's more shabby really Sha and more, then then it's we more switch. moroccan it's more moroccan shabby yeah. than algerian shabby wow. because there is a difference between the two shabbies there is a moroccan shabby uh, it's more, it's more festive. It's, it's more like uh, festive than than sh Algerian uh, shabby, and uh, and the the origin of the shabby came a little bit from the Gnawa the music. Gnawa tradition. So uh, the Gnawa tradition will be older. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you and, know, the, and, yeah. and when you listen to to Gnawa, it's like and when you and you when you transpose this sound. It came from there, you know? It is very hypnotic, yes. So you guys looked like you had a pretty good season of, tour, of touring planned. And now, of course, the pandemic has put all that in the, in the, in the garbage bin. How, how have you been coping and what have you been doing to sort of react to that? Sleep. <laughs> I can no, we're, we're working hard actually we've yeah. uh we we're working hard on the next album actually. next album yeah. the third and finding yeah. the new sound and uh finding ways to work uh apart you know yeah. uh originally i i joked at the beginning how this is a this is a almost distancing for ourselves but it just it's also the first time the three of us have been able to be together you know since the start of the confinement so we were finding ways to work virtually uh, by yeah, sharing tracks really over the internet, cool. trying to mix, you know. We're, we're, we're running low on time. I need, but is, do, you, do you have a sense of when that new record might come out? Hard to oh, say. Uh, I would uh, aim for late next year. Uh, yeah. And then when things come back to normal, God willing, inshallah, we'll all be able to dance <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Thank <laughs> you so much, Hamza, Anit, and Sylvain for joining us. Merci beaucoup et tout. Thank you, Ali. Thank you. Pleasure. Oh, thank Bonne you. chance. Okay, cheers.